Hello everyone, I'm Cubastic, I really love puzzles and recently I got into 3D printing and I've got an opportunity to print these puzzles with my 3D printer. You're about to see this happening, but first I want to show you the puzzle that I want to print out today. Take a look at it, show it to you and try to solve it. It looks like this. I love these impossible puzzles with a great idea. Here it is a chain, a completely closed chain that you have to put in a little box. It looks like this. And this is amazing, guys. This is an impossible puzzle that we're going to try to do in real life today. Let's go! Here's one of the details of this puzzle, which is the base, the box where everything is going to be placed. Thanks to modern technologies, you can look at the still unfinished model in real life. Here you can see there's a text down there, and you can see everything, every detail, every side. And now it's time to print it. Let's get started! Sometimes it takes hours, sometimes days to print some puzzles. And it takes even longer to shoot this video. And you can see it in literally one video in a few minutes. And friends, I'm asking you to support me by subscribing to this channel, make sure you turn on notifications and don't forget to cherish me with your likes and comments. I got it, it's ripped off prematurely. Anyway, the first piece of the puzzle is ready. This is a box, I uh, used, uh, as you can see, an unusual plastic with uh, these shiny interlaces. And uh, the only thing, it could have uh, corrupted the surface a bit, it became uh, puffy, but it looks pretty cool to me. And uh, the cover fits perfectly. So let's charge the filament and print the next part. Well, the second part of the print is over, so in total it took about 7 to 8 hours to print it. And look at the cool thing about the new printer. It is very easy to take the details of the desk because of the flexible platform. Let's make a deal. You subscribe to this channel and hit the like button and I'll show you some secret information. Come here, come on, come on. Guys, it's a secret insight for puzzle lovers. Although, it's this even a secret if you can find it by going to the link in the description. This is the cubicle.com store, the coolest cube store in the world, with a nice selection of cubes and puzzles. There are also a lot of accessories for speedcubers here, timers, mats, loops, sticker sets and much more. The link is in the description. And for my subscribers, there's a secret promo code CUBASTIC, which gives you a discount for your order. Choose a puzzle for yourself, your friend or the loud one and train your brain with us. Link in the description. This is what a printed chain looks like, but now it's not assembled yet, we still have to put these pieces together. In fact, I really like the way this puzzle looks. The colors are really cool, they are kinda cosmic. Now let's glue the chain together and look at the puzzle in an assembled form. The creator of this puzzle suggests connecting the chain as follows. We take a broken link, we put two wall pieces on it and fill this empty space with a small extra block. I mean uh, glue it on here and that way we get a wall chain with three links and the same will be done once again. 
But I don't like this idea and I've got something else. This is a virtual model of our printer and the model that will be printed. I put two chain links upright on the printing table and the thing is, at some point of the printing process, that's how it's going to print, up, 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 up. At some point the printing will stop and I will have an opportunity to take the already physically printed links and run it this way. And on the top, when the printing goes on, just the last bit of these links will be done. And so the chain will close. I hope it's gonna work. Let's try to do it. So right now the printing is continuing at about this level. I think it's high enough to fit our additional details. Let's stop printing first. Let's pause it. The printing head goes up and now look what we do. We just put our three links in there during the printing. And now it turns out that the printing will continue and lock our already finished parts inside these elements that are now on the table. It's going to be a wall chain. Well, I hope it works. It's supposed to work. I really hope this works out the way I planned. Otherwise, we will just spoil all these details. So I hope something good comes out of it. Let's start by taking off all this stuff like this. Look, we have a chain! Man, I'm really surprised it all worked out. But why I'm surprised? It's just a good technology and a cool idea came to me. Let's get all this cleaned up and see how it goes. I like the way it looks, very cool, and it worked, I think, better than the author of uh, the puzzle plant. Took off easily. A few moves and the chain is ready. Look how interesting it turned out to be. Cool. This is the first time I've ever done something like this, printing something like this chain. I really like the way it looks. And it fits very nicely with the color of the box. We've got some kind of cosmic color of the puzzle. I really like it. But let us not forget our main task to solve this puzzle. We need to do the next thing. Put the chain in this box here. <laughs> Apparently it won't be that easy. Look at it. Ok, let's start the timer and begin to solve this puzzle. Go! Whew. So what do we have? A box. I understand that all the links are the same size. Let's see how they fit in here. Vertically fits, horizontally fits like this, but doesn't fit that way. Let's check how they relate to each other. In here? Not. Look, I thought it uh, can fit in here, see? I'm trying to put one link into the second, but it's literally one millimeter more than this hole, so there's no way it fits in there. Alright, let's think, what can we do? Obviously, it has to be a very flat figure, flat enough. Man, it's not as easy as it looks. Ok, something like a flat figure. So, 
There's a lot of space in the box, and the only difficulty we have is that the chain is completely closed, it's not separated by links. So I'm pretty sure that all the links will fit into this box individually, and there's a lot of space left, but it's not easy to fit a wall chain like this in. Look, does it fit by the width? That's the way it fits, okay. So we can allocate this uh, too, like this. Let me remind you that this video is sponsored by the cubicle.com store, one of the best online puzzle stores in the world. The hard part is uh, there's no way to fix it. This chain is like a snake, so movable. I've come uh, to the point where we have uh, exactly two, two parts of a link uh, placed in a narrow inner part of a link. I mean, I can put two pieces right next to each other and they clearly fit into this hole together. So here's something that looks like a more compact position. Somehow only this uh, thing is left. Look, I think we're about to come to the right solution. Here! Fits? Fits? No, it doesn't. Stop, let's try from here. Well, it doesn't look bad. Let's try to put in here. <gasps> yes! Ha! It's easier than I thought. But just because it's uneven, the box doesn't want to close. Is it sold or not? The box doesn't close. Something is not perfect, but it's cool. It's pretty good. So... This is how it's going to work. Carefully. Okay, again. Trying again, and this time... What's up with this? Everything is not quite perfect. Why? It is the only cool position I've found. Why doesn't it work? How about to try to do this upside down? Put the box down here. Hmm, by the way, did you notice that there is an easter egg on the back? It says brain teaser. Hmm. Now we have to align it perfectly, so they don't stand sideways, we can't close the lid. Yes, closed, stop! 7 minutes and 7 seconds? Seriously? It didn't look real, and now I can't believe there's a chain inside the box. Look, it wasn't really easy. I was wondering if there were any other ways of positioning these links that could fit into the box. But I guess I won't do it again. I've really enjoyed this puzzle, friends. Not only because I made it on my own, but also because it looks really great and the solving was easy enough. In fact, I expected it to be a lot harder. Look how cool these colors match. Really, it reminds me of something cosmic. The black one with some inclusions and the purple one with some kind of glitter. It's a really great puzzle. It could be a very nice gift for your friend. Awesome gift, I would say. And my printer did its work very well. Anyway, friends, I don't know how about you, but I see only pros of making this puzzle. First of all, I love the way it looks. Second, I love the way it's sold, even though I did it pretty quickly. And third, I'm really enjoying the feeling that I printed it with a 3D printer. Until a few hours ago it didn't exist at all, and now I was able to show it to you and take a look by myself. I've even sold it, 
it's awesome. Friends, I sincerely recommend you to train your brains, solve puzzles, search for the most difficult, the most incredible like this one. It seemed impossible, but as you can see, you can do absolutely anything, even the most incredible challenge. Thank you so much for watching, this was Cubastic and the cosmic puzzle, the chain and the box. Bye everyone and have a good time, see ya!